morning and a warm welcome to all uh, my dear students for this yet another interesting session of e-learning and i am here with a very interesting poem of your syllabus that is father returning home written by dilip chitre now uh, this poem is an autobiographical in nature because the poet has written about uh, his father you know the relation that he had with his father and uh, the difference in a uh, generation of younger generation and old generation you know nowadays we find that uh, the amount of conversations that we had with our uh, with the older generation in our families with our grandparents with our parents have reduced a lot and the reason uh, behind that maybe our busy schedules maybe the technology that has taken over and due to that the uh, these people these adults in our homes are feeling alienated they are feeling that they are left out somewhere and nobody cares for them now the poet is uh, narrating a real life incident about his father now his father used to work uh, till late evenings and he used to return home and he used to hurry to come home and when he used to come home there was nobody to have a word with him there was nobody who would converse with him you know he would be all by himself he would feel left out he would feel that there is nobody there for him and amongst all these things the poet has given us a wonderful message that in this materialistic world we are losing the importance of relations whereas uh, the most important thing in our life is uh, the relationships the blood ties that we have so let's move on with the poem written by dilip chitre a very beautiful poem written by uh, dilip chitre now let us know something about the author the poet Uh, the poet was born in baroda on 17 september 1938 third largest city in the western indian state of gujarat dilip chitre's family moved to mumbai in 1951 he published his first collections of poem in 1975 he was awarded a visiting fellowship by the international writing program of the university of uh usa he worked as a director of the indian poetry library archive and translation center in bhopal he also convened a world poetry festival at new delhi now the poem is taken from his collection traveling cage it draws a portrait of a suburban commuter now a commuter is a person who travels every day for his work it depicts a dull and monotonous exhausting and equally pitiable routine it also describes his forced alienation at home which is reflected through the stale food and lack of sharing the poem shows man's isolation from the materialistic man-made world now uh, let us move on to the poem and today we are going to do the first stanza now this poem consists of two stanzas of 12 lines each it is written in free verse the there is no rhyme or any kind of meter that has been used by the poet basically he has done this to uh, to more effectively bring out his feelings and emotions in the 
poem. So let us let us move on with the first uh, stanza that we are going to deal in today's lecture. Okay, so here we are with the first stanza of the poem. Father returning home. My father travels on the late evening train, standing among silent commuters in yellow light. Suburbs slide past his unseeing eyes. His shirt and pants are soggy and his black raincoat stained with mud and his bag stuffed with books is falling apart his eyes dimmed by age fade homeward through the humid monsoon light now i can see him getting off the train like a word dropped from a long sentence he hurries across the length of the gray platform crosses the railway line, enters the lane. His chapels are sticky with mud, but he hurries onward. This is the first stanza, and that is what we are going to do in today's uh, lecture. The next stanza, we will be dealing in the next, uh, next video. Now, my father travels on a late evening train standing among the silent commuters in yellow light. Now, what do we understand by this? As we all know, the poet is uh, speaking about his father. And his father used to travel late evening. Now, here late evening means it symbolizes the working hours of a father. Most of the time, the fathers have to work very hard to meet the needs of the family and due to which they have to stay away from the family. And so his father is traveling on a late evening train, standing among silent commuters. Now, what do you mean by silent commuters here? Now, I already told you what is the meaning of a commuter. Now, what do you mean by silent? Why is this word silent added here? Now, silent here means for the unfriendly people whom he meets in the train. They are not interested to have a conversation with the poet's father. You know, most of the time people have to travel by the same train every day. And these people are silent because they are unfriendly by nature, which shows the dull and the, uh, you know, monotonous routine of poet's father. He has to travel silently without speaking to anyone. There's nobody with whom he can talk even on the train. In the yellow light. Now, this yellow light also symbolizes the dullness that is there in the poet's father's life. Suburbs slide past his unseeing eyes. The, the area that, you know, that he sees while traveling through the train, this just slide past his eyes. That means he is not interested in seeing those uh, sceneries and the, uh, the nature, whatever is going past his eyes. Maybe because of his usual routine, because he's been seeing that every day. And hence, he has become uninterested in looking out either. They just slide past his eyes. Slide past means he is just not interested in enjoying the visuals over there. He is just, uh, he just ignores those scenarios. His shirt and pants are soggy. Now, what do you mean by soggy? Soggy here means very wet. You know, soggy. Soggy means very wet. His pants and his raincoats have become wet due to rain. Stained with mud and his bag stuffed with books is falling apart. Now here, the uh, what the poet is trying to tell us, you know, he's carrying a bag which is full of books. Now, maybe he is, people who read books are the ones who usually carry the books. 
and the bag is full of books this also shows that his father was a knowledgeable man and those books are now falling apart falling apart means that they are coming out of the bag here it it is symbolic that poet's father his life is also now in a falling apart state he is not in the condition he cannot hold on more to his life he is tired with his life and you know he does not have any um, any joy left in his life which is uh, shown or which is said as said by his son stained with mud his bag stuffed with books is falling apart his bag is falling apart his eyes dimmed by age now as he is getting older his eyesight is getting weaker now as uh, uh, these people get old we need to take more care of them but this father of uh, the poet his eyesight has become really dim and at this age also he is working and he is working really hard you know traveling by a train catching train you have to be very uh, punctual as uh, you it's concerned with traveling you know if you are late the train does not wait for you in cities like mumbai and pune where people travels the students or the people who work they travel by train they are always in a hurry but it is okay for them but an old age man you know who is already uh, you know his eyesight has become dim he travels by he commutes by train every day his eyes are dimmed by age fed homewards through the humid monsoon night you know he's fading the monsoon light is fading now here this word also symbolizes old age you know when you the youth fades and old age comes in you know when you are young you're full of energy you're you're full with beauty and when you age this beauty starts fading this beauty that is there in us it starts fading fade homewards through the humid monsoon night you know when he's traveling through the train he is expecting to go home you know his expectation is he'll go home he he'll pour out his heart on his children he'll talk to them and he'll tell that what all happened with him but there is nobody as such who is present at home who will share in his you know day to day conversation who will talk to him or who will share his joys and sorrows now i can see him getting off the train now one journey has over, is over he has already completed his train journey and he is getting down from the train he is getting down because maybe he has he has reached his destination the place where he had to reach he has reached there and from there he will move on to his home the next journey will be there from the station to his house like a word dropped from a long sentence now this is a very important uh, sentence my dear children like a word dropped from a long sentence here the father is compared to an unimportant word of a sentence when we write a sentence so we use usually we use the important ones and we leave out the words or we erase the words that are not needed so the father is compared to an unimportant word which is a simile a comparison between father and an unimportant word from a long sentence he hurries across the length of the gray platform now it is gray due to cement usually we all see that the platforms are gray in color but here this word gray now it's a symbolic poem many things has been used by the poet and these colors the yellow color and the yellow and the gray color the gray color that the poet has used here it suggests the old age the dullness and the sordidness of the father's life you know the loneliness the uh, the unimportantness that is there in the life of poet's father he hurries across the length of the gray platform now old people cannot hurry can they walk fast like you and i they can few of them can but most of them when old age comes the speed reduces 
they they start walking slowly they start taking support of you know the railings or someone some people walk with a stick because in the old age they cannot control their footstep they might slip they are scared of falling you know they they scared of getting tumbled up and you know they may fall they may get hurt so they walk very cautiously they always are very careful of how they walk you know automatically this happens with age once they uh, start getting to that uh, age they start becoming very careful about themselves you know they start walking taking uh, smaller steps they are very careful when they are walking on the staircases they are very careful of climbing getting down of on buses etc because in old age there is a chance that they might fall they might lose the balance of their body and it might hurt them it might injure them so here this father is hurrying now what does this word hurry means he is he is in a hurry he wants to go home soon now why does he want to go home soon because his family is there at his house he wants to go and meet his family his loved ones his children grandchildren maybe so he is hurrying across that platform he is taking faster steps he cannot take but he is putting all his energy to take faster steps so that he can go and meet his family his son his daughter his family who is there at home whoever might be there maybe they are not waiting for him yes the poem states the sad nature of these old people in today's generation you know there is nobody waiting for old people at home people don't want to uh, want old people in their homes most of the uh, uh, people or young people they are they put their parents or their grandparents in an old age home or you know uh, a sad state that they leave them on the railway platforms also we can see it all over in the media we can see it in the newspapers because they don't want them we do, they don't want their interference in their lives because once they become old they become dependent they cannot give in their efforts to the family they become old and they need our help for everything each and everything that they do they need our help so here the poet is bringing out a sad reality of today's generation that we don't respect people don't respect their old people and they feel that they feel that they are a botheration to them they feel that you know it they are too much of uh, uh disturbing them in their day to day life whereas it is very important and very essential to have these old or the mature people at home because their guidance is uh, what we cannot get in you know so many books also having a word with these people gives us a knowledge equivalent to many books that we read because they have lived a life they have an experience that they could share with us but sad part that we don't have time to converse with these old people and due to that they feel that they are lonely in a in a family full of people it is not that they don't have a family yes they have a family but no one cares for them no one has time to sit with them to have conversation with them to discuss with them you know about the life about sharing their experiences this father he is hurrying across the grey platform to reach home so that he can go and meet his family because he was away from them for so many hours and after spending that time he now wants to spend the leftover part of the day with his family crosses the railway line enters the lane now he he, he got down on a platform he is crossing the railway line and he is entering the lane now he's entered the road the road that leads him to his house now uh, this is symbolic my dear students how is this poem symbolic because you know when we are born a, we begin a journey you know we are young we after childhood we enter into the young age and then we have to the last stage of our life is the old age where you know everything stops your uh, your energy levels are down your eyesight become weak your hearing power becomes weak and slowly and steadily then we we reach to the end of our lives here the poet's father has entered the lane he has already entered the last lane of his life that is old age and he is trotting 
he's walking towards his home where there is nobody waiting for him it's not that the house is empty but nobody is waiting to see his father his chappals are sticky with mud but he hurries onward you know the footwear that he's wearing they are mucky they are filled with mud because it's a rainy season it, the poet has already mentioned it is monsoon time and his the footwears are muddy you know when your footwears become muddy they become heavy it's difficult to walk normally with such footwears but even in that mucky or the muddy footwear he hurries onward he is putting his steps ahead and ahead and ahead because he wants to reach home home means a place where we get a feeling of belongingness home you know after traveling the whole day you heave a sigh of relief when you come down home when you come home you feel happy you feel uh, you know you feel that you really that you have come back to your place so with all the difficulties that poet's father dilip chitre's father faced he uh, reaches home facing all the difficulties whether it is the long standing journey between unfriendly commuters whether it is you know his wet clothes that are disturbing him the weight of the bag that he is carrying on this journey whether it is the long distance of the platform or the heaviness of his chappals with all these things with all these difficulties he is still hurrying onward onward means he has not stopped he is just moving ahead and ahead and ahead he is moving on because he wants to complete his journey he doesn't want to leave his journey incomplete he wants to reach home he wants to reach a place where he belongs where he is needed where he is loved so uh, i hope i have completed well with the first poem first stanza and uh, i wanted to go through the entire paragraph again and we shall be dealing with the second stanza in the next session